Hello everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Rutan, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show, where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. We are continuing with the Washington Wine theme, Washington Wine Month. I don't think I'm going to get as many episodes as I was hoping to. I was super stoked to have um, Ashley Trout, uh, that interview I did with her. Uh, yeah, I thought that was a really good interview, a lot of good information, great winemaker. She does a great job. We're going to look now, though, at... Um, Syrah. And actually, Washington State, we talk about Washington State and Merlot, but when it comes to Syrah, Washington State really excels. Uh, the most planted uh, vineyards, uh, uh, vines in uh, Washington State are Cab, Merlot, and Syrah in that order. And it looks as if maybe Syrah um, might see an increase in plantings. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Syrah does really well in Washington for a couple of reasons. The heat units in eastern Washington are tremendous during the day. They have a big diurnal shift, which means it gets really cold in the, uh, during the um, evenings, during the night, and then it heats up again in, during the day. And Syrah does really well, excels with uh, high temperatures. So it's a perfect grape for that. And it also is tough enough to survive winters, so winter conditions. So you, there you have it. I mean, cold at night hot during the day, Syrah does really well. There's some really key areas where Syrah is, uh, thrives the most in Washington. There's Walla Walla, Waluk Slope, uh, Red Mountain, of course, Yakima AVA, and um, uh, Waluk Slope, and, and the Horse Heaven Hills. All very good places to uh, plant Syrah. Uh, most of those vineyards are south facing, which gives the uh, grapes a lot of heat. So Syrah does excel in Washington State. We're going to look at three Syrah from Washington. The first one is the 2020 Luke Syrah, Columbia Valley, ah, La Luke Slow. This rolls in at $25. I'm a huge fan of Syrah. It's, it's so good with food, um, especially like roast beefs, um, steak. A lot of those things, Syrah excels. And if the acidity is right, Syrah is a real good candidate for aging. Really, really purple. of this one. It's really kind of reddish purple on this, but man, boy, is it purple. Purple haze. Jimi Hendrix action. Let's see what we get on those. Getting some blueberry notes. Or boysenberry, blueberry, a little bit of a kind of a tarry action on this one. A little blackberry too, boysenberry, blackberry, blueberry. That's a whole berry, a bunch of berries. Not even getting any, not really getting any bacon fat, which it can be a component of a Syrah. But I do get a little bit of that tarry element. Let's see what we get on the palate. Blueberry notes come out big time on this one. Good structure on this Syrah. Kind of a dusty tannin thing going on on the backside. The acidity is nicely integrated, gives it a little bit of a bright lift in the mouth. The blueberry and boysberry notes really penetrate the palate. Nice flow, really balanced on the palate, in the mouth. There's almost a plum element coming through as well. Very nicely made Syrah, good acidity. The tannins are kind of dusty on the backside, which is interesting. And, uh, yeah, just nice integration. All the elements kind of working together. That's what we mean by integration. Everything kind of works together. There isn't any weird juxtapositions in the wine. Uh, no weirdness. Just smooth and delicious and well-made and well-structured. Yeah, nice wine. Uh, just a little, little touch of thinness on the backside, but not uh, putting. I'm going to go B on that one. I think it's a, a well-made Syrah, and it's 
above average. So I'm going to straight up B. Now, let's move on to the Damsel Sellers 2018. What was the dice? I say that one? That was 20. 2020? Yeah. 2018, great vintage in Washington State. Damsel Sellers, Syrah, Stillwater Creek, which is now the Royal Slope AVA, fairly new AVA in Washington State. And Stillwater Creek is smack in the center of that AVA. Color on this one as well. Uh, I had a chance to meet Mary, the winemaker for Damsel Sellers at uh, Taste Washington this past weekend. Very nice lady. Uh, hopefully, we can have her up for to taste some of her wines. Damsel Sellers. Did I give the price? $32. Again, just this one hedges towards black. Definitely a purple, reddish black color. Let's see what we get on the nose. Now this has kind of a real toastiness on the nose. I really like that. Toasty blackberry, blueberry. Almost like a smokiness, like hedging towards ham hocks. Right? Keep me there. Get a sweetness on the nose too, which is quite interesting. Yeah, I like the nose on this one. A little more expressive than the Luke. Let's see what we get on the palate. This is a little richer on the palate. The finish is strong. The finish is kind of bright. Uh, good acidity, again, very nicely integrated and balanced Syrah. Blueberry notes big time. In fact, on the back side, you get like you're chewing on the blueberry skins, actually. There's a tiny, tiny hit of bacon fat on this one. Very, very subtle. I don't like it when they go over the top, bacon fat. But this one's very subtle. Like I said, nice acidity. Gives it a nice lift on the finish. Almost mouth-watering. Getting a little raspberry on this one as well. So blueberry, blackberry, and a little raspberry. All nicely integrated. Penetrates the palate. Front to finish. And then that toastiness kind of comes out on the back side of this wine. I love the Syrah. I like the Luke, but this one definitely notches it up a bit. I'm going to go... A minus A on this. I like the finish. Almost hedging towards tobacco, but not quite. I get that nice blueberry raspberry. It's like you mashed them up together on the back side and it really lingers with just a touch now. I'm just getting it just now. Getting a little bit of pepper on the back side. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight up A on that. Solid Syrah, $32. That's a good price for what you're getting. So this is the 2018, 2019 Aquilini, 10,000 hours Syrah, Red Mountain, Washington. This rolls in at $35. Josh Maloney is the winemaker. I like Josh a lot. He's a great winemaker. So 10,000 hours, I think that alludes to how many hours it takes to kind of polish up your skills as a winemaker. Total of 10,000 hours, you should be able to make wine. I think that's the right story. Red Mountain, a great classic, uh, two of my favorite ABAs in Washington State. I know Walla Walla is famous for Syrah as well, especially the Rocks District. You've probably heard of that. Uh, but I really like Red Mountain uh, Syrah and anything from Yakima Valley. And a lot of these little Appalachians now that have their own designation are actually in the Yakima Valley ABA. Oh, the nose on this. A little menthol action going on. Definitely some Grand Marnier. Ripe blueberry. There's almost an interesting, excuse me, there's almost an interesting kind of... Well, uh, caramel. But it's, it's, it's kind of a menthol chocolate, blueberry... Grand Marnier thing going on. 
a little orange action in the background. Let's see what we get on the palette. Wow. Boy, talk about progression. I, I didn't know what I was getting into here, and boy, I did it right. Exactly in the right order it should be. This is an immense Syrah, but very about, it's big. It's got, it's got the, you know, it's got the guns on it, but at the same time, it, it's still balanced. It's not over the top. Yeah, just like this. It it's, ha has that kind of Grand Marnier blueberry, like if you soaked blueberries in Grand Marnier without high alcohol. Chocolate, like bittersweet meats. Yeah, bittersweet, really good chocolate like that. Really high cocoa ratio chocolate on the palate. Um, nice balance. Uh, the acidity level is not as high as the first two, but it's still nicely integrated in there. A little toastiness coming through. Wow. Blueberry, chocolate, poisonberry, a little bit of uh, getting hedging towards tobacco on the finish, not quite going there. Really toasty on the finish. I mean, just. That's a beauty. This is a beauty. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've, I'm I don't think I've, I believe I've ever had this wine. Um, I, like I said, I like Josh Maloney. I think he said on the back, I read it, it was 35%. Uh, yeah, 20 months in 30% 30, 30 New French O. What a stellar Syrah. I mean, for 35 bucks. I think, you know, there's so many good values in Washington State. I mean, seriously. Uh, a lot of these Syrahs, if they came out of California, would probably be $15 to $20 more. Uh, it's just, you get such great quality wines from Washington State for a very reasonable price. Now, I know $35, bucks, you are pumping out a little change, you're pulling out of your wallet, maybe making it a little lighter, but still, $35 is a super fair price for the quality of this Syrah. I don't do this often, but I'm going to go A-plus on this Syrah. I think it is a solid well-made Syrah with a lot of guts to it, but balanced at the same time. Wow. It's just one of those wines where you, you say to yourself, and I like this with Ashley Trout said in the interview, you try, you say, yeah, this guy hit it. You know, he knows, he knew what he was doing. He was reaching for this certain goal of making his wine and he did it. And then you just drink the damn thing because it's so good. I, that's what this wine is. It is that good. And I'm going to just drink the damn wine. Just say. Thanks for taking a little time of your day. I hope you're enjoying these episodes with Washington Wine. By the way, do you have a favorite Washington Syrah? I want to know in the comments. Please comment. I don't get enough comments. I don't know. Maybe I'm not trying hard enough. I don't know why you guys don't at least just put something out there. You can, you know, People read comments. I like to respond to the comments, and it really makes it exciting for me. It's a big thing. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You keep watching, and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.